In this video I'll give you a brief overview of the Digo bookmarking tool, in particular how to bookmark and uh, annotate bookmarked resources in such a way that uh, those annotations are visible to the world. So we'll start with a document here that I'd like to save and I'd like it to be in our, ultimately I want it to be in our, uh, our Sys103 Digo group. So I'll come up to the bookmarks tab here. Well, first I want to I want to make a description, have a description of what this document is. So I'll just use that. I'll show you what that does. So that high that portion that I highlighted there with the in the browser is now part of the description. So one can either type in a description if you wanted to, or you can leave it blank for for that matter, or you could just use part of the uh, the existing document. Then I'd like to fill in some tags here to make this uh, this resource. Uh, searchable in my in my library, so I'm going to put some tags here, some of the recommended tags. But I also want there to be another tag, CISC 103, that I'll just add on the end. Okay. Now I know this resource is something that I want to share in the group, so I want to come to this area right here. If it wasn't open for you, then you can just click that button, right? And then I'll click Share to a group, and Sys103 is the group I want to share. I can have other groups, and I do have other groups, but I want it to go to this group. So it's going to be saved in both my own personal library and in the group. So we'll save it. If I come to my library, well right now we have to re refresh and there's the document. This is in my library. It is, I did save it, uh, I did not save it privately, so it's, it is still visible to the world, but it's not grouped. It's not in a place where you easily be able to find it. So if I come to this group, I also did save it to the group, so it's here now, and there's the description that I had. Okay, so now I can click on this, and we see the document that I that I saved to the group and this will be visible to you. Now let's say there's something of interest here. Uh, for some reason this is interesting. So I can highlight this. I've highlighted it there. If I let go of my my mouse then I have this highlight option. If that option doesn't show up, this context menu doesn't show up, you can still highlight from the toolbar. So I'll just go ahead and highlight that. And you can see that this is highlighted. And that highlight will be visible to anyone who visits this web page through the group. Now I'd also like to explain why I highlighted that or what's interesting about that. So I'm going to add a sticky note, a floating sticky note to this. This is a comment. Some comment I make up here. Something I wanted to say. Now notice in this section here I can either keep this private this particular comment which means only I'll be able to see it or I could publish that to the group that comment so I'll, I'll make that comment visible to anyone in the group post and there we go so what's interesting about sticky notes is I can move them anywhere I want so I'm gonna pull this here floating sticky notes that is and I'll leave it there so you should be able to view the group, the Sys103 group, select this document, you'll see the highlighted text and there's a, you'll see that little floating sticky note and you can mouse over it and you could make your own comment here and make sure it goes to the Sys103 group and post and everyone will be able to see your comment as long as you didn't make it private. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you have fun using Digo.